Hello folks, welcome to another freezing cold episode of Dave's Allotment. Where's our kettle? Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Hello, welcome to Dave's Allotment. Still cracking on at the allotment. So get the kettle on. It's a lovely day. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Oh, hey. Winter's still here, folks. Winter is still here. Whew. Hi. Like I said before, hello and welcome to another episode of Dave's Allotment. It's freezing. Up in the northeast of England, I would hold off planting anything out just yet. Don't be too eager, don't let the sun deceive you as well because we've been getting icy cold easterly winds up here like poof, freezing, there's been frosts in the mornings and everything so hold back, now that reminds us of when I first started allotment hearing and oh, allotment hearing, <laughs> when I first started the allotment um, I used to pester Ray and John all the time oh, when do I plant this out? When do I plant this out? What do I do? When do I plant this out? And John once told us. Now, a lot of you, a lot of you have heard this before, but I'll tell the new subscribers because it it works. <laughs> um, the best thing. This is what John told us, and it, he says his granddad told him. So it's over a hundred years old. This little tip, and it works. He says the best way to find out. When is the best time to plant stuff out is you go outside, you go to your little bit plot, a bit soil, you whip your pants down, you sit on the soil, and if you go, woohoo, it's a bit cold, it's a bit cold. Now if you sit on the soil and you go, ah, that's nice and warm, that's what the plants are going to think as well. So there's a little tip for you. <laughs> if you make videos, I'd like to see you do that little tip. Haha, <laughs> anyway, Jock might do it later, who knows? Right, I'm blabbering. What am I going to do today? Now, these giant Swede are getting huge. They need potting on again. Every week they need potting on, so that's cool. Um, what else am I going to do? I was talking to Ray the other day, and he had seen this bloke doing some interesting thing with carrots now so I'm going to try that today I've got my carrots I'm going to try them in pots one in this air pot thing and one in a normal pot I'll show you that later also today I'm going to sort out this trench down here because I've got some I've got something cool to show you later on also I'm going to get me onions out in the ground, the onion sets are going out. They're ones that I put in a few weeks ago are just dying off. So they're coming out, new ones are going in, and that'll be it. Uh, I might even have a little fire. Who knows? Who knows? Right, cutter, where's my cutter? I'm gonna have that and I'll crack on. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so first job to do. Get these giant Swedes, put it into bigger pots. So I've just washed out these. I've got I've managed to get some Humax by the way, which is cool. So, like I say, these uh, giant Swede need to get potted on. So I'll do that quickly. Now I was here the other day and then um, I had a, a special guest, a visitor. Now I'll show you that video later on, because it was a good laugh. Um, well, it's always a good laugh when my special guest vid uh, appears. I'll tell you about that later on. Um, also, 
thank you very much for all of the comments and interest on the allotment history video thing I didn't think many people would be interested but well like I say I'm interested in it so I'm quite sure other people are interested and it looks like they are Hi, this garden's uh, old. It, it would be great to hear everybody else's allotment history. I mean, I, I know I did tag some people in it, but feel free to make one of them videos if you want. Let us know about your allotment history. Because some of them is really interesting. Like, uh, I was reading the comments on the video and interesting. Anyway, so what I'm doing here is, as you can see, I, put, I always do this because it's just easier. Um, you put your pot in and then you firm the, firm the soil down around it. I managed to get some Humax, thank you very much. Jem, my good old pal, he went and got us a one from Shyamua. So cheers Jem, woohoo! He'd be buzzing that he got a mention there. Right, so like I say, they make an indentation in the soil, firm it all down, and then it's just much easier to transplant. Now, the roots are popping through the bottom of there, so they need to get into a bigger pot. I don't know if you can see there where the, where the camera is, but I'll show you when, the, when it's out. Don't worry, I'll show you my roots. Look at that. Roots. Roots and ting. Root. So that's that done. I'll get on with the other one. I'll not bother filming that because that's just boring. Right. I'll see you on the next bit. Good evening folks and what a lovely evening it is. It's that nice that I've even brought a special guest over who's busy doing some watering at the minute. So that saves me a job. <laughs> Whoa! Rare occurrence! Yeah. <laughs> Hello Paula. Hi David. Do you know what? I feel like a Benny Hill moment coming on. Oh no, not again. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm getting too old for this Benny Hill malarkey. I don't even know where Paul has gone now, so I'm going to go to the shop and get myself a drink because I'm choking. <laughs> I've just seen that really Dave. Got in the shop, he couldn't find us. Ah oh, well, too old to chase me. I'm going to put my feet up for five. <laughs> Jackasses, guess who I've just seen? Paula at the shed. Woohoo! Let's get it on, baby! Yeah! God, not bloody Jackie! I'm back. That's better. I still can't find a pole I like, but I'm uh, choking for a drink here. Ah, gets your thirst fast. Like John Bond said, who's up? Yeah. Oh, here she is. Do you know what it is? What's the matter? Being chased around Benny Hill style of you was one thing, but when Jackie comes here, yeah? Jackie? Jackie, where? 
I was sitting in there, as I tell everyone, put my feet up while you went for that because you're too old to go after us now. He, he followed us in. I've been running all over the shop trying to get him. Joking. I need to sit down. <laughs> I don't know what goes on when I'm a bloody wee like eh? I'm going to finish this and I'll do something else. <laughs> didn't know what like. See you in a bit. <laughs> Well, it's nice and warm in this greenhouse. Good time to crack on. So I'm going to do the carrots. Um, I hope you enjoyed that Benny Hill little sketch thing there. It's just for a laugh, you know. Hey, I enjoy it. It's fun. Anyway, the carrots. I'm going to do something here. I was talking to Ray. He watched a video of this bloke. He watched some program. And there was a bloke sewing carrots in buckets, in pots like this and um, he was getting like loads of decent sized carrots out of the one bucket so I'm going to give it a try I'll just put that down there for a second so I'm going to do make a little mixture a mixture of soils so I'm going to get some of this cocoa stuff now I know I know it hasn't got any nutrients in it but I'm going to add some nutrients to it. So just a little bit of that. Left. That should be enough for one pot. So I'll add a bit more of the, the good old Humax. Make sure there's no lumps in it like. It doesn't matter anyway, I'm going to sieve this out. Give it a good mix up. A little bit more for good luck eh? I have never um, never thought about trying carrots like this, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Right. Oh, two seconds folks. The trusty old sieve. Oh, I don't need that yet. So I'm going to add some fish blood and bone to this. Just a little handful. And later on, as I'm filling up the pot, I'll add some grow more. Because I don't think that will fit through the sieve. So I'll give that a mix up and out. And start filling. <laughs> and it would help if I put the bloody thing on a stop line.
that sack filled took a little bit longer than expected day. All right, so now that's done. I'll show you the next stage. I'll put the camera on here. Read. Right, that's the compost sieved. Now, now the time to put the carrots in. Now the 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 video that uh, Ray had watched. The bloke had a a little bit of like chicken mesh stuff go over the top, just so he knew exactly where the the carrots were. Well, I kind of find that like. Hey, you didn't get many carrots to the pound these days. Um, so what I'm going to do. Go. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. Two inches apart. And see how many I can get in this pot. And it'll be interesting to see what happens. So I'll not, <coughs> I'll not bore you with this, pardon me there, because um, it's a bit boring, but that's the general idea right there. Looks like one of them games of solitaire with the, with the marbles, hey, <laughs> right, I'll crack on with this, like I say, I'll not bore you with a whole lot, because that will be boring, so I'll get on with this. And I'll see you in a bit. Right, that's the carrots done. And I'm going to put the kettle on. But before I do, I've had quite a little bit of interest in my t-shirts in the past. Now, I've been trying to look for the, the cheapest place. Um, but I am now going to start taking orders just in time for summer for Dave's allotment t-shirts. Um, they're only available in white, unfortunately. Um... I made a little advert for them the other day when Paul was here, so check that out. I'll put it on now. Oi! Now I'll reach Aye? Where are guns? In fact, where are they? DJ, will you turn your music off? I can't hear you. Oh, oh yeah, I tell you. Cheers, mate. And, uh, no, I didn't. Hello, You're all right. You all right? Well, I was, thing. but yeah. I didn't want to dance, but I really like your t-shirt. I bet you didn't get many of them to pund. Aye, and I, you didn't get any to the pund. But the 15 quid. Where did you get it, like? From Dave's allotment. Get in. I'm gone for one. Sorted. Yeah, so like I say, I've had quite a bit of interest. So I am starting to take orders now for a Dave's allotment t-shirt. As worn by Paula <laughs> and me. Um, and stay tuned, because there might be a giveaway. Because it's Easter next week, and you've got to have an Easter goodies. Um, I blah 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 blah. If you would like a T-shirt, get in touch with us through me Dave's allotment Facebook page, and I'll give you the details and all that. Then, like I say, there'll be the, the fifteen pound plus three pound packet postage and packing and all that kind of thing. Okay, thanks now. Cheers, I'm gonna get the kettle on. See you in a bit. Right, it's time to get the rest of these onions out that's in the trays here. Because they're getting a bit big. So what I've been doing, I've gone round, there's a few that have died off here. The ones that I sowed the other week. So I'll be I've pulled them out, I replaced the ones, because some of them look as though they're they're doing alright. So I've left the healthiest ones in and I'm going to just quickly replace these ones that are missing. Fill in the gaps, as they say. So these ones have been in that greenhouse there for a while. It's more like a cold frame, that greenhouse. But the roots are uh, chopped a block on these. So perfect time to get them out. Now the weather, it's been freezing cold at night, and like frosty, freezing cold. But uh, round about tea time, it starts getting out nice, which is good. Gives us plenty of time to get things, uh, what I need, done, done. So there's just two more in here. Then I'll go on to the rest.
I don't know um, what the weather's been like in other parts of the country, but it's definitely still signs of winter here. There's one more here, and that'll do. Sorry about that, I'm just talking to myself. Feels like I'm talking to myself anyway when I'm making videos. Are you listening? Oops, one of them has just fell out there. Are you listening to me? Uh, have, have you just skipped this part? We'll soon find out. <laughs> Leave us a comment below. Uh, right, that's that them there. So I just, there's another one. Where was it? Here. Pull it out there. Aye, the first onions I put out, I knew there would be problems with them up here, like in the northeast. It is too cold. Never cast a clout till May is out. That's a saying, and it means something. Like I say, especially up here in the northeast. And now I know people are going to say, "Oh, what you're about? It's not not to do with the month." I know, I know, it's the May flower from the hawthorn. Um, but there was one year I noticed the Mayflower didn't come out till the middle of June. So what you're supposed to do there? You've got to take a risk sometimes. It's almost the middle of April now. Things are getting getting on. Aye, the weather, like I say, turns out nice at uh, tea times and then gets freezing cold during the night and in the mornings until about 12 o'clock. Right, I need to get some more of these. So, I'll crack on. Oh, my God. 
as you can see here, I've been tidying up this trench. And on the other video, I was telling you about, I've got an idea. I've got this tank in here because you, as you know, it's always good to have greenhouse temperature water when you're watering things. Anyway, I was going to try and make it into a sort of hydroponic system. So, what I did, because the hose pipe fits perfectly onto that tap at the bottom, um, I made some holes in the, in the pipe there, as you can see, all the way along. I attached it, it didn't work very well. I was talking to Ray, and he says, hold on, I've got the perfect thing for you. So, what he gives us is some of this soaker hose stuff. He used it when he used to grow uh, chrysanthemums and that. So I've attached that. Hopefully, I'll have enough. Uh, hopefully it'll work. So I'm going to just fill the tank up a little bit. I'll go and turn the tap on. Right, just before I fill that uh, tank up a bit, I don't think I've showed you this before. I was having a little mess about the other day and I managed to get this sorted out. I got a bit more hose and... Uh, I got one of these splitter, three-way splitters, well a two-way splitter. It's, a, it's leaking a little bit, because, um, well I need to get some plumbing tape and that'll be sound. But that's the only leak I can find. Now as you can see, one of them goes to the greenhouse where me water the hose is. And the other one goes into the shed here. Now excuse the mess of this shed, it needs sorting out. But... If I want to fill the kettle, all I need to do, turn the sink, turn the tap on. What a belter. That's, if you haven't seen this before, I got this from a school, local school, or chucking out their old gas, um, the old science lab desks. So I've got the gas thing there. Eventually, I've got a bit of pipe, and then I'll go on my Bunsen burner. I want to get this little um, tank filled up, put into there, it'll be sorted. I'll get rid of this, make it into a, some sort of wood burning stove type thing. But ah yeah, look at that. Run water on tap. Right, let's go and fill this tank up. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more time. Right. Oh. Right, I'll, I'm going to fill this up. And I'll show you the results. Are you going to stay there? I'll show you the results um, when I show you around a little bit to a later on. I'll leave you on a view with the tulips. Right folks, I'm going to do this last bit of the video on my phone camera because the batteries of my camera are about to run out and uh, I don't want that to happen. So I take us to the top to show you around what's been happening, what's grown and what's not grown. So I'll just spin you around there for a second. Right, so as you can see there, me rhubarb is doing champion. I've never filmed on this camera on my phone before, so I hope it turns out all right. Seems to be okay, but I, me rhubarb's coming on champion. That's rhubarb over there as, as well. Everything's looking good. The wildlife area starting to look a bit more green. There's still frog spawn in the pond. I'll just give it a little bit of, of a top up there because it hasn't rained for a while. Um, nothing, nothing's been happening along here. I've just picked another couple of leaks there because uh, they're coming to an end now. It's almost time to plant more. This apple tree here is starting to get some blossom on there. That's not going to focus in. Anyway, look at this pear tree. That's 
I've never seen it covered so much in blossom ever. Well, it's only been in two years, but looks like I'll get some uh, pears this year, folks. And I've put some Vaseline just around the, just so no little beasties can climb up and destroy me apples before I get a chance. So, crack on. My great uh, my garlic's doing quite good there. I've done a little bit hand weeding round it the other day when I was up. The the sh uh, shop bought ones from Wilkinson's, they're doing champion. But I have noticed they're starting to get rust. So I don't know if that's going to affect them or not. I don't think there's not much longer for them to go in anyway. Ooh, shit they do. <laughs> Ooh. Well, what do you know? Right, <laughs> my onions are out. Well, the ones in that greenhouse are out now. I've given them a good watering in. And I replaced the ones that were dead. These are the ones that, the ones that were in the ground already. Some of them have perked up. So I've left them in, see what happens. The rest of them are doing okay. And the never ending artichoke, if I can get round there. Can you see? No, you can't. So I'll have to go round here. Onto me, onto me dug soil. I'm getting some artichokes on. Already. So, things are looking up. Comfrey's starting to grow. In fact, have you seen this? Never known anything of the likes. Oh, look, perfect timing. That's it, fella. You get stuck into them flowers. Um, aye, it's a bit early for the comfrey flowers. Flowers, like. Uh, I put the onions, them are the rest of the onions that were in the greenhouse over there because I needed some space over there. I'll show you in a sec. But they're the red onions and the rest of the white onions. They'll be going out. There's, tw there's 12 in a row here. So there's a, say 24, 36 there. So that I'll have a few more rows that'll take us to about here. Which will be spot on. Spot on. What else have I... Oh, I, I didn't show you this. Now, the other day, you'll, you'll already know this if you watch me videos on YouTube. Eh, on Facebook, I sometimes do some live videos on my Facebook page. Um, I was doing some allotment raiding <laughs> the other day. Because this, this allotment's empty. The woman says, just take what you want. And I was having a look around. And I took what I wanted, which wasn't much like, but look at this, it's just going to rack and ruin this garden. What a shame. It's a canny little plot for someone, this. But I noticed these tulips, once they've stopped flowering, I'm going to dig them up because I need them. I need them. <laughs> right back onto what I, I got. And this is interesting, this is a good little thing, this. You know how I've got some um, bits of old air raid shelter down there? Well, I have two more bits now. There's the, other, there's the boat pond that's doing champion. Look at this. Flowers, flowers coming on already. Hi there. I've got a couple more bits of air raid shelter. So I'm going to build myself a little air raid shelter shed down here. In the wartime garden. Right, where was I? Hi, here. So there's another couple of bits there. Once I've had a fire, which will probably be next week sometime, I'm going to use the bits of air raid shelter and make a little sort of rain shelter type thing over where that chair is and the seat and that. So that should be all right. Uh, where was I? Have I missed anything here? No. The roses are doing fine. The tulips are doing 
fantastic and his roses getting greener by the day there she is little Annie Ah, there's tulips, man. Look at all these. They're getting a good... There's some leeks. Good for leek pudding. Ah, these are... Lovely, man. It's a pity the sun wasn't out. We're getting, they're starting to die off, actually, now. Opening right out. Um, The lavender's doing all right now. There's a few more loose daffodils and stuff. And what have you. Down there. Right, into the greenhouse. Right, I just paused it there for ease of uh, editing. Right, into the greenhouse. What's been happening here? Lots. I've put this soaker hose on, and as you can see, it's working. So that's fantastic. Fantastic. A few things growing these dahlias. The leek, uh, the onions off Ray, doing okay. It looks like this avocado is starting to come back to life, so I've got a bit of water in there. So these are me carrots. I've got 15 in there, I've got 24 in there. Let's see what happens. These ones are special seeds, special carrots. They were off Dean, he got them off someone, um, and I'll tell you what they are M Powell long heavy carrots so I put four of them in there I am quite chuffed with that little uh, contraption there what's these dahlia cuttings there's some dahlia cuttings let's see if they take root and there's me brassicas up there the kale almost ready to go out now cabbages Fantastic. The shallots, cool. Dean, here's your uh, giant cabbages. Uh, your giant swede. When you're going to come and pick them up, mate. And because there's a grape cutting there for you as well. And Jeff. Jeff. Jeff Foreman. This is for you. Dean, that's for you. Come and get them when you can. Uh, I keep going this way, my me, me gutter peas are still growing but I've noticed there's a few bare patches so I'll top them up with a few fresh tomatoes eh, uh, fresh peas isn't that right? be a kind man way I right, I've showed you them the grapevine it's coming on strong Coming on strong, coming on strong, coming on strong. Come the shaman and I keep coming on. It's coming on strong, <laughs> like I've just said. Oh, come on, get in. Ah, oh, get in. Still warm and all. Look at the, the giant uh, Pablano peppers are still doing all right. I've been covering them over at nights, well, when I'm not here. Because it is getting still cold at night. So I'll cover it over with that. And it seems to be working. Why is it not going on the back? There. Perfect fit. Uh, this temperature gauge. I know people are saying, well, you've got the kettle right next to it. Nay, wouldn't I? But the kettle's not here all the time. Minus 0 0.5 centigrade. Let's uh, reset that. And right now it is 13 Celsius, which ain't too bad. I potted this, one of the giant onions that I grew from seed. I potted that on the other day, that's looking hurried. As are the other ones. Cool. These, um, I called them corn, no, what did I call them? Fox gloves the last time. Well, as someone rightly said, these are snapdragons they're doing all right no sign of me broad beans yet there's some more dahlia cuttings i took they're doing okay i suppose these are the ones i grew from seed and there's some swede and there's me giant swede now i'm i'm well pleased with the size of them like i don't know i haven't got anything sort of handy to give you a, a, 
size difference. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll just put them there. Normal Swede, giant Swede. So they've been potted up like you've seen earlier on. I've put all of these seed trays on here. There's me tasty king cucumber. I have thought uh, they weren't getting enough light on this bench, so I've put them all here. So the red alert tomatoes, they're starting to get the first leaves on. And there's the Lee Herrington giant tomato starting to get its first set of leaves on. Nothing else is shown. Nothing there. The oh wait there that looks like a the cornflower is starting to grow. The sunflower is starting to grow. There them tasty burpless cucumbers still growing. No sign of the violas yet, but it looks like the Swede is starting to grow. And me money makers, we hey money makers. There's me potato that I dug up from down there. Still growing all right. I have been taking these daily cuttings day by day. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. Um, is there anything else I, should, I can show you before I go? I don't think there is, so I'll just quickly spin you around. Right, so that's about it, folks. Um, thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing and all that kind of thing. Keep your eyes open for an Easter special. That'll be coming up next week, obviously. Um, so, before I go, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing and all that kind of thing. Really makes uh, a difference and I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much and welcome to all my new subscribers. Ring the bell. <laughs> I'll go and ring the bell. Be... Oh, I thought my cup I had spilt out of there. Feels like I'm doing a live video. Ring that bell for notifications and all that kind of thing. So that's it. Like I say, folks, where's my cup Here it is. I don't know what I'm doing. It's weird using this phone. So, thank you, folks. See you again. Stay tuned. I hope everybody has a great week and uh, all that kind of thing. And I hope everybody's garden starts getting a bit warmer and things start growing canny. All right. Thank you very much, folks. Cheers now. See yous. Right, I'm still here. I've got my guitar. I'm going to quickly sing you a little preview of my next song featuring Jock. Um, I'm, you know how I'm doing, like, I want to do a top 10. Thank you to everybody who uh, like, likes the songs that I do, with this, just for a laugh, you know. So once I've got like a top 10 songs, I'm going to do a top 10 countdown in the style of Top of the Pops, which would be interesting. <laughs> That's my favourite word at the minute, isn't it? Interesting. So, he has a little sneak preview of the next song, which I'm going to be, well, which Jock and me is going to be doing. It was made famous by the Proclaimers. <laughs> 